Hey, IBC family, I hope that you're doing great on this Monday morning as we are continuing our journey through our IBC 260 reading plan. Um, we're in week 32 of our reading plan and we're finishing out the book of Hebrews and we'll start in chapter 9 and we'll finish in chapter 13 this week. Um, the book of Hebrews is probably one of my favorite books of the Bible. I realize people say that all the time, and maybe not about Hebrews, but about other books. And um, it's just so encouraging to me, especially in these chapters that we're reading this week, because it just reminds us of all that Jesus did for us, like on the big scale, um, how he... Um, went into the Holy of Holies and he made a way for us to go behind the curtain. Um, I, I just love, like, I love the imagery of the book of Hebrews. Um, it's probably one of my favorite things about it. I'm a visual learner and so it's, it draws out those visual images for me to just realize that Jesus's sacrifice was more than I could ever wrap my brain around. Um, and I feel like Hebrews pulls that out. Um, and y'all know I have a problem with picking just one verse <laughs> to highlight um, for our weekly videos, but um, this time I had a hard time picking a, a chapter um, from any of the chapters that we're doing this week. And so um, I just want to encourage you like to dig deep into chapter 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. Like they're so full of so many good things and there's so many... Um, Jewish connections um, in the book of Hebrews um, that I think the author was trying to pull out and say, look, like Jesus was the Messiah and the fulfillment of all the things that we were looking for and all the things that you were waiting for. He is that man. And so, um, and again, the pictures and the images that come to mind are some of my favorite um, this is chapter 9, verse 12. It says, He entered once and for all into the holy places, not by means of the blood of goats and calves, but by means of his own blood, thus securing an eternal redemption. And so that, that imagery of the sacrificial system that existed in the Jewish culture and how Jesus was the ultimate sacrifice, um, that he went behind the curtain, um, I just think it's beautiful, all of the things. For Christ, this is verse 24 of chapter 9. For Christ has entered into the holy places made with hands, which are copies of the true things, but into heaven himself, now to appear in the presence of God on our behalf. Um, I'm just so thankful um, for the things that God has done, the, the things that through Jesus, God made a way for us to, um, to bridge the gap that existed, the separation that existed between us and God because of our sin. And I feel like Hebrews just constantly is reminding us of the sacrifice that he made and how he bridged that gap um, it's one of my favorite things. Um, so this is verse 28 of chapter 9. So Christ, having been offered once to bear the sins of many, will appear a second time, not to deal with the sins, but to save those who are eagerly waiting for him. Um, I want to be eagerly waiting for the Lord. Um, and then chapter 10 gets even more in-depth. Um and talking about the the sacrifices that Jesus made and how he's sitting at the right hand of God. And then in the middle of chapter 10, this is verse 22, it says, Let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith with our hearts sprinkled clean from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast to the confession of our hope without wavering for he who promised is faithful. Um, our confession, which is that Jesus died and saved us from our sins and rose again so that we could spend forever in heaven with him, is something that we shouldn't waver on. It's something that we should hold fast to um, because he who promised us is faithful. And I think the author is saying that he was faithful to bring about Jesus. He was faithful to... Um, to resurrect Jesus, but now he's faithful to continue to fulfill the promises that are coming um, with the second coming of Jesus. Um, 
And then, you know, chapter 11 is the best, um, talking about all the people and their faith that they had in, in God and, and how that was counted to them as righteousness. Um, and then chapter 12, that Jesus is the author and perfecter of our faith and who for the joy set before him endured the cross. Um, it's just so, I'm so thankful, like, um, so thankful that Jesus found joy, the joy set before him to endure the cross for me. Um, I'm just thankful. So I hope that, um, so again, I can't pick a verse and clearly I can't even pick a chapter um, this week, but I hope and pray that you're encouraged. I hope and pray that the book of Hebrews draws out images in your mind that you have not thought about, um, about the sacrifice of Jesus and, and how much he loves you and that the whole time that there was purpose um I think in the book of Hebrews too, I see the ancient work of the Lord that long before um, Jesus came, God was making a way um, in the lives of those people in chapter 11 and then in the sacrificial system that the Jewish people that he set up for them. Um, God's work has been going on for a long time and it will continue to go on for a long time. So I hope that you find hope in that today. Um, I hope that you're encouraged. I hope this week that as you dig into these chapters that your life is changed and that the way that you see the sacrifice of Jesus is different. So I hope that you have a great week. Enjoy your reading in Hebrews and we'll see you soon.